Awesome. So we're finally ready to start making the drawings for this thing. We're going to go to New, Drawing File. And again, anytime you have a drawing, you need to change the sheet size. So right click Sheet 1, go down to Edit Sheet, change this to A. This box is too big, so let's delete ANSI Large. Let's drop in instead for title blocks, ANSI A. And Base. All right, for the base, we want, how about the bottom first? All right, so check this out. We have an isometric view, which, let's go ahead and put that one in. Eh. Yeah, let's put that in up here. Why not? But we also have, and this is the really cool part, if you go to, there's the bottom again, open that up, we can go to a flat pattern mode. And this shows you everything you need to recreate it. Uh, half scale, half scale maybe too big. Let's see if a third scale looks good. Yeah, third looks all right. We'll do that. Right click, OK. Not only does it show you all of the uh, the geometry of what you need to start with the flat part, but it shows you the bin lines and it says this is different than a fold line, which is also really cool. All right. So enough of me uh, kind of geeking out over that. Let's go to dimension this thing. First off, we need our overall dimensions, 11.92. Interesting. It's not quite what we uh, thought we had, is it? That's OK. What this is actually doing is accounting for different bins. 11.9. We're going to have this round up a couple of things for us. Now this is one of those times it looks like a hidden line, it's actually a fold line. So we can dimension to this. I want to show how wide that is. Uh, this is one of those important things to know, is where that bend would be. We're going to round quite a few of these. But I want you to see, Inventor's actually calculating how big this would need to be to make it the dimensions that we said we wanted, which is kind of neat. We are going to chain our dimensions here, and this is more for ease of reading it than anything else. Um, for the people who are putting this together, they're going to measure from the side in and from this side in, and they're going to make sure those two measurements are both uh, two and a quarter. And I'll put our half inch measurements on the sides here and up top here Ooh. let's drag that to the other side so it's not crowding it out but I will put a uh, TYP after it which means typical so anytime we see that drawing it's a it's a half inch all the way around which you know what if we have a typical dimension we probably only need one of them So let's just delete this out. All right, so we have a typical dimension for what goes all the way around. We have this, which we are going to say precision and tolerance. I only want you to show me the whole digits. So show me 11. Good. Show me here, 12 inches. Good. This one, I want you to show me one point after, 6.5. Excellent. This. I thought we said two and a quarter. But again, it's doing some, some funny estimating with what we actually want. So let's let's cancel that. You know what? We may even just overwrite that. If we go to text, we can uh, hide the dimension value a little bit. 2.25. Well, let's add an extra zero after that so that looks a little nicer. Let's add an extra 0 .00 after that one. 0 .00. Hide that one all together. 2.25. 
this one we're going to round up precision and tolerance change that to zero after add an extra point zero zero after it okay again we want to make this as easy as possible for the other people to fold up and make it work but the reason why these numbers are off is because when you go to bend this over that bend is going to have some height to it and so we don't need this to be two and a quarter for the height of this to be two and a quarter we need this to be six and a half we need this to be eleven um, but again things are gonna change a little bit when you go to bend it because it's not just a straight bend we're not welding pieces together okay let me hit escape a couple times here uh... let's see here we have the eleven the twelve the six and a half the two quarters i think this is good we're going to leave this just like it is. Uh, make sure you put in your name here. So you'd put in uh, whatever your name is. My name's Mr. Thorne. Title of this, you can call it bottom. Scale, we actually use a third scale, which is kind of weird. It's not a standard size, but it fits nice on the paper. So we're going to use it. And uh, we're going to create an extra note over here. Ah, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's hit cancel. We're going to make a new sheet. Sheet 2 for the base. We're going to instead put in the handle. Open that up. Let's go for an ISO top right. Let's keep it shaded so you can see what the folded up handle looks like. That looks pretty cool. Go back to the base. Search for the handle again open that up this time we're gonna to go to a flat pattern of it oh no it doesn't like the flat pattern we'll come back to that in a different video let's hit uh, cancel on that then let's delete this out for now I was afraid of that uh, let's go instead to the base and search for how about one of the sides size should work ISO top right on the side make sure that's shaded that looks nice okay let's go back to the base again let's put in a unfolded sign let's open that up oh it doesn't want a flat pattern of that either hmm let's hit cancel let's delete this we'll make that in a different video we'll do some troubleshooting that's okay alright base we'll try this one more time we have a uh, exploded view this is good uh, let's show this shaded make sure everything can fit on the page and we're also going to put in a base view with the assembled one let's show an ISO top right of that cool uh, make sure that's shaded okay uh, let's go annotate parts list yes we want to use a parts list we'll use that as the assembly file click OK enable bill of materials view absolutely click this up here double click on the text let's go to change some of this stuff out We'll remove the description we'll add in material click OK cool check that out we have galvanized steel and I didn't go back to change my bottom even though I told you to change yours uh, let's click apply balloon click click right click continue alrighty uh, that looks pretty good except for this so I can actually go back find that file the bottom open I could have sworn I did this uh, sheet metal defaults it still says generic weird change it to galvanize click apply I remember saying that in my video alright well that should change this at least there we go updated perfect uh, put in your name Mr. Thorne title this bill of materials good scale on this let's call this uh... Well, what is the scale on this oh it is a one-third scale that's weird 
know what? I bet it was the same thing for both of them. And if so, I'm just going to move this right to the middle. Double click. Yep, it is. All right. So instead of putting the scale in the scale box, I'll just put it up here. And uh, yeah, people can figure it out. All right. We're going to stop this video. I'm going to figure out how to fix the other sides of this that did not want to unfold. And oh, here's something else for you to do. Come in here and let's relabel these. This should be bottom. And this should be uh, the bomb sheet, bill of materials. Probably look better if we put a couple decimal points in there, periods. Cool. Bottom and bomb. Excellent. And we'll come back in the next video and fix up the signs.